Okay, so now I'm trying to clean out these drawers. And um, it's easy to see that sometimes you'll see they're not that bad. This doesn't have a lot of uh, oil and dirt and whatever in it. So a lot of times they're covered, so it's, it's, it helps hide it. I mean, it helps protect it. And uh, But you will get stuff like here. First of all, in the corners, uh, you'll get dirt, which I uh, sort of cleaned out, tried to clean out. You know, that's grease, oil, dirt, and I put some uh, soap there. A simple green type of thing. It's, although this is called purple. If you use this kind of a tool, which I found in a uh, kitchen area, this is for ki cleaning, I guess, pots and pans or something. Um, you know, you get a tight little brush with, which a, with a nice little angle for getting into cr uh, corners, um, as well as this little pointy. Br and this is made out of rubber, soft rubber. And then you can use this to get into these little areas, which is almost impossible. I don't know how else you would, you know, get anything seriously scrubbing there. I mean, you could just use the brush, but that's kind of random. You're just kind of hoping it gets where you want it to go. But the, the brush is a little stiffer, so maybe this will help break up the bigger pieces. And then you go back in with a little pointy thing uh, after the soap has a chance to break it up. And you can combine the two to make it happen. Um, if you care about doing this, you know, some people won't want to do all this. Or it won't even be that bad. This is actually an old box from the 50s. So, and I, who knows when it was last cleaned, if ever. I have no idea. Um, but I think it was basically used fairly consistently. So, well, I think there was a time where it was stopped being used, but it just sat in a garage, in other words. Um, but when it was in, in use, at least in the 90s, it, uh, you know, was just in a shop. So it was kind of protected and just doing its job. So it's just, this is mostly grease. There's not a lot of rust. There's not a lot of, you know, beat up scrapes and stuff like that. A couple dents, but I think it wasn't like left in someone's backyard with a bunch of stuff piled on top of it. So it's actually in pretty good condition. But I figured, you know, I'm not going to want to take all this apart. Once I get my tools in there, I'm not going to want to take it apart just to clean these little corners. So now is the time to do this kind of small jobs because after it's set up, that's going to be it pretty much for the next who knows how long, 10, 20 years. Or until I sell it, if I ever do. But I really like this setup, this, this tool itself, I mean this box. So I probably will hang on to it. So you can see how that is working. And, you know, you just gotta improvise. You see what you have and see what you can do. And the, the point is you get the job done. It doesn't matter exactly if you do it this way or you find another totally different way or some combination. Just get it clean how you want it. I'm just saying that this is actually a handy little tool because how else do you get in these little corners? This is this actually turned out to be a, a nice little find actually for this kind of job. I mean, I might be okay with that. Just, you know, let me get on with it. I got, you know, a bunch of drawers to do. <laughs> I don't want to spend an hour on each one. And it takes a week to do all of them. I, I hosed it out already, <clears throat> but there's a lot of dirt in the corner still. So that's the kind I'm doing now. Okay, so here's the smallest of the top drawers. Um, this is an inch or whatever it is. Uh, here's a good look at the uh, corrosion of the handles, which is not that bad actually. There's still some, a lot, quite a lot of material there. It's still good, but as you can see, you know the, the corners are filthy. Um, they're all like that. And then the back of this where people, uh, the, the dirt collects and no one sees it. Uh, you can kind of see the inside edge there maybe because people reach over the top to pull the drawer out. So you end up with a lot of greasy 
fingerprint type of stuff there. So this is what I'm trying to clear out. Now in the middle track, uh, you know, space, whatever, this doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look like there's only in the corners that seems to be weren't really collected. Uh, and here, uh, like I said, so that's this is the top drawer. Besides the little ones, this is the first, the first big drawer, uh, full length drawer. But you can see how greasy and dirty that is. The track's got some. I'm not going to worry too much about the track because I'm probably not even going to polish the track. All I'm going to end up doing is adding more grease to it. Zap in the corners.
was watching a video of some other guy who had a old toolbox. It was this old snap-on as well, but I think it was from the 80s or something like that. No, no, he got it and it was, it was uh, he's had it for about 20 years and it was like a few years old when he got it or something like that. So he got it for, it cost him a thousand dollars and it was just a top box. It wasn't a huge box like this. It was, uh, you know, three drawers or something like that, five, four drawers, the lid. But it looked almost brand new. Like maybe it was from the 80s or something like that. Um, it was super clean. The, the paint and everything was almost brand new from the from the video that I could see. And he's saying, oh, I love it, blah, blah, blah. And here's some of my tools. There's a toolbox tour, you know. That's fine. In the end, he says, yeah, and this, and this box is... This box is so nice. I love it. And some people were commenting, you spent a thousand dollars on that? Oh my god, that's so much money, blah blah blah. And then I'm thinking about that as I watch this thing and I start reading a few comments. And I think, what do you mean a thousand dollars is a lot? I forget, like I said, I forget exactly how long he's had it or when he bought it. But I remember it was a thousand dollars. I remember that part. So I just pulled out the calculator app. <laughs> And I divided the, the years he's had it divided by the price he paid, and it ended up being like four dollars and fifty cents or thirty-seven cents or something like that per year, which was like pennies a day or something like that. It was some small, small number. But then I comment in there. I said, well, you know, since you've had it and it still looks almost brand new because he took care of it, he's just in his garage, I presume, or whatever, or he, maybe he cleans it periodically. I have no idea. Or maybe he's just being careful. You know, if you're careful every day, you don't have to clean it like this all the time. So, anyways, it was it looked great, and I I, I commented, I said, well, if you if you really paid this much for this many years, that's only like four or five dollars a year, whatever it was, and that's only you know, ten cents a day or twenty five cents, seven cents a day or whatever. It However, it added up, I forget now, but it's something small like that. And he's like, yeah, he, you know, he gave me a thumbs up or something like that. But I'm thinking, you know, once you, the longer you have these higher quality items, whether it's a toolbox or a jacket or a helmet or whatever, tools, the more, the cheaper they get. Every year you keep it is another year cheaper. Every day you keep it is another day cheaper. You know, you buy a thousand dollar thing and you keep it for a thousand days which is, you know, like three or four years, um, that's only a dollar a day, <laughs> you know? That's sort of how I, how I see it. And that's where you get the value. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I bought this great deal. I got all these old toolboxes and it only cost me, you know, $25. And, as, and if it's not $25 or let's say, you know, less than 100 it's unacceptable, it's too expensive. Uh, it's not expensive because this thing's been around for decades. It's already proven its quality. It's a survivor. You just want it for free, you know. You, you don't really want it, you know. Then you don't really want the thing. You just want to see if you can get the cheapest price for whatever. Then after that, you end up selling it. You're so intense on the transaction. You're not really. You don't really need a toolbox or whatever you just need an ego stroke or you're in business you know that was if you're in the business of selling stuff and stuff all right i think i'll close this off and leave it for, leave the other one for tomorrow but i don't want to leave the soap on this you got to clean it off don't leave it overnight because it'll it'll eat it up and I, I already cleaned these up actually once. I just didn't do a very good job. I'm just gonna get it better. I decided I didn't want them that much grease. And these corners in the front. Like this was all completely covered. But uh, now it's just a little bit there.
I would suggest doing this in the day. You can see what you're doing better. Okay. I already, I already did it before. It's actually not that bad. Like I said, I'm going to cover the bottom with drawer liner, so there's no need to really take that off. If someone stuck something there for some reason. But I don't need to worry about it. If you'd want to do this in your driveway or backyard on the cement, you could also like lay it on a towel, a beach towel or something, so you don't ding up the paint on the concrete if you're going to try to save some. I'm trying to be careful, but I'm also not that concerned, obviously. That's not an idea. Oops. I'm sorry. Let's hit you in the face with the hose. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Because I'm, I'm not making it new. If I was going to repaint it and all that, of course I would care. Or the paint was, you know, pristine. But it's already dinged up from, from the, all the other years. So what, what's, what's another three things? Not that big a deal. So here's a smaller drawer, for example, in the shadow. I cleaned this up already, so it's fairly clean actually. I'm not decide, trying to decide if I want to do extra, or it's not really that big a deal. I think it's okay. I don't think I need to get these soaking wet again. So I, I guess that's it for now. We'll get back to clean up, and we'll get back to it later, tomorrow in the daytime.